Today we're going to cover some of the common causes of drafts in your home. Joseph, in simple terms, what sort of an effect does wind have on a home? Wind blowing across the house would create different pressures. In the windward side, the air would try to push into the house. That's what most people experience as draft. And their concept of draft is when you get a hole or gaps on your wall, air just pass through and that's what they thought as the draft. But in reality, a more severe effect of draft in the house is actually caused by a suction on your roof, trying to pull air out of your house. And in that case, you will feel draft everywhere in the house at the same time. So all of your internal cavity walls within your home, so just, just internal walls, bedroom walls inside of the house, because they're exposed to the roof, they also go into negative pressure. In common construction of Australian homes, all the building components are interconnected behind the plasterboard. So whenever there is a suction up on your roof, in your roof cavity, it will try to pull air out of your house from everywhere. And that's why sometimes people may find it puzzling. I'm in the internal room of a house. Why am I feeling draft? And that's the reason why. So Joseph, what's the solution for a drafty home? It's very simple if we talk about in theory, just stop the path of the air moving across your building. Yeah. But in reality, it's easier said than done. Yeah. Because in the current practice, how we build home, the traditional way to build home, yeah. there is nothing stopping the air going inside and outside. In the current building practice, or the traditional way, we focus a lot of attention to stop rain and water coming into the house. But rarely we have any attention to detail or any design feature that stop air going across. So it is not that easy. For a traditional home, if you are lucky enough, don't have down light in your ceiling, you still have a hope to use your ceiling plaster as something we call an air barrier to stop air coming from inside to outside. All you have to do is to focus on any opening cutting through your plaster board. Areas typically like the skirting board, wall and window archetypes, your ceiling connects, and any light fan that penetrates through your ceiling plasterboard and also your switches and power points. All those can be sealed and treated to reduce or eliminate draft. But for a lot of the house built in the last 20 years with the proliferation of down lights, it's very difficult to rectify that. What about exhaust fans that are exposed to your roof cavity? Well, unfortunately, not much you can do about that because they are an essential part of your building. Toilet, bathroom, kitchens, all the odor and foul air needs to be exhausted. So there's not much you can do about that. But at least while you're eliminating the rest of the leakage source, you significantly reduce the draft. Think about it. If you try to blow air into a bottle with only one inlet and outlet. It's very hard to blow air into it. But if you've got holes on every side of the bottle, it's very easy to blow through it. And that's the same concept we try to treat our home. Try to eliminate all the sealable and can be sealed holes and gaps. Mm -hmm. So all those essential openings won't cause as much issue. What about new builds? What can be done to reduce draft? Well, if you are lucky enough to build a new home, then congratulations, you have a lot of options to do. First thing, sit down with your builder and architect. Discuss with them how can you build a home that is airtight. What you need to have is a continuous air barrier, which is a layer in your wall, 
ceiling or roof construction that is continuous connecting your slab throughout your entire home like a balloon that stop wind or air going between in and out. When you're building a new home, it's very doable.